Defense Central is currently on the ground at this year's edition of the Dubai Air Show, recognized as the largest aerospace and defense event in the Middle East, drawing exhibitors and attendees from across the globe. Boasting a lineup of over 1,400 exhibitors, the Dubai Air Show 2023 showcases a spectacular array of 180 commercial and military aircraft in both flying and static displays. In today's video, we are taking a closer look at some of the cutting-edge drones, unmanned aerial vehicles, urban air mobility platforms, and electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft showcased at this year's edition of the Air Show. Let's dive right in. Unmanned aerial vehicles, drones, urban air mobility platforms, and electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are gaining increased attention as the global community seeks advanced and sustainable transportation and defense solutions to address the challenges of urbanization and mitigate the impacts of climate change. According to some estimates, the global market size for UAVs reached $22.7 billion in 2021 and is projected to exceed $102 billion by 2030. Similarly, the advanced air mobility market is poised for substantial growth between 2023 and 2030. Reflecting this industry trend, the 18th edition of the Dubai Air Show is featuring a new advanced aerial mobility pavilion alongside its established aerospace, space, and defense pavilions. The first platform that caught our eye at the AAM pavilion is Archer Aviation's Midnight Electric Air Taxi. Archer Aviation, a leading American-based company in electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, presents the Midnight as a piloted four-passenger aircraft capable of flying up to 160 kilometers on a single charge. With a focus on back-to-back -back flights lasting between 10 to 20 minutes, Archer envisions transforming urban travel by providing safe, sustainable, low noise, and cost-competitive electric air taxi flights. So far, Archer has signed an agreement with India and anticipates launching the air taxis in the UAE by 2026. Earlier this year, the company also secured a $142 million deal from the U.S. Air Force to provide six midnight aircraft, although the specific reasons for the deal were not disclosed. A similar platform introduced at the air show was the Integrity EV Toll aircraft, designed by Spanish startup Chrysalian Mobility. Formerly known as Umul's Next, the company highlights the aircraft's capacity for one pilot and five passengers, covering distances of up to 100 km at a cruise speed of 180 km per hour. The company told Defense Central that they have secured just over $16 million for future development and production, with plans to initiate another funding round in the first quarter of 2024. The envisioned applications for the Integrity EV toll include air taxi flights, emergency medical services, cargo operations, and tourism. Under the theme The Future of the Aerospace Industry, this year's edition of the Dubai Air Show also saw several unmanned defense platforms unveiled. While the primary focus remains on commercial aviation, these cutting-edge defense platforms play a significant role in shaping the future landscape of the aerospace industry. The UAE-based conglomerate Edge used their home show to unveil an array of new unmanned systems, including fixed and rotary-winged UAVs, air-launched munitions, and a jammer. This product range addresses diverse missions, encompassing tactical intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, logistics support, and sophisticated combat operations, according to the company. Noteworthy among the offerings is the ReachM, a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle, tailored for ISR and light ground attack operations. With a maximum takeoff weight of 1,500 kg, the ReachM features automatic takeoff and landing, pre-planned flight paths, a 24-hour duration, and a maximum payload of 350 kg. Calidus Aerospace, another Emirati firm, also revealed their design for an unmanned air vehicle named Sahab. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for a closer look at these new systems in our upcoming videos, coming later this week. As the use of UAVs continues to grow, there is a heightened demand for advanced anti-drone systems. The Russian government-owned company Rostec unveiled their latest anti-drone product at the airshow, called Sapfer. 
Featuring a reported high degree of automation, this system will be able to detect, suppress, or neutralize common small-sized drones, quadcopters, and similar improvised devices. The development of this new system is likely influenced by the successful use of small drones by the Ukrainian armed forces against Russian targets during the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine. According to the company's executive, the system's effectiveness was proved in practical applications, though specific evidence supporting this claim was not readily available. In collaboration with the UAE Space Agency, this year's edition of the Dubai Airshow has extended the space experience zone with a new pavilion and numerous conferences, placing a spotlight on the themes of space economy and exploration. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos as we cover space-related news from the Airshow. So, what do you think about these systems? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, as we have plenty more to share from the Dubai Airshow 2023.